a very warm welcome to all our viewers and welcome to a new edition of the Daily Debate, our show bringing you all the latest news and bringing you up to date with all the developments happening inside Egypt. Tonight you're in the company of myself and Jumeir. And of course, uh, let's begin straight away by talking a bit about today's topic in uh, today's edition of the Daily Debate, uh, the Egyptian Comprehensive Economic Development. Of course, Egypt has taken many steps towards the new republic, and it is important uh, to note the milestones that have contributed to the significant leap in the government performance, development, as well as the upgrading of work mechanisms at various levels in the country. The Egyptian Stock Exchange has also been making waves in the financial world, emerging as a beacon of resilience and growth amidst the turbulent a global uh, landscape. Also, the first week of March witnessed a remarkable stage with regards to the Egyptian stock exchange, outperforming all other Arab financial markets, boasting an impressive rate increase of 8.1%. Of course, tonight, along with our guests, we'll be discussing Egypt's uh, economic prowess and all the developments in this sector, as well as a multitude of factors uh, ranging from a strategic geographical location to the rich cultural heritage, as well as the diverse uh, economic sectors. And uh, before, though, we get into the tonight's topic of the daily debate, uh, let's take a look at some of the news making the headlines. And of course, today, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held discussions at the Federal Palace with the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Mark Rutt. Official spokesperson for the presidency stated that the meeting witnessed discussions on developing bilateral ties and developments in the regional situation, especially in Egypt's efforts to achieve a ceasefire and provide humanitarian aid to the people of the Gaza Strip. Afterwards, President Sisi held a joint press conference with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, where the President welcomed him, stating that his visit to Egypt reflects the depth of relations and the level of joint coordination and cooperation between the two countries. The head of state underscored the discussions reflected a consensus of visions on the importance of Egypt as a reliable partner for the European Union and its member states in various fields of common interest. In the press conference, President Sisi highlighted discussions also focused on the situation in the region, specifically the war in the Gaza Strip, where the two parties have reaffirmed the inevitability of an immediate ceasefire. In this context, President Sisi called on the Dutch Prime Minister to make his sincere efforts in this regard as it is a basic condition for ending the humanitarian catastrophe in the Gaza Strip, as well as ending the manifestations of escalation and tension in various parts of the region. And for more about today's meeting between uh, the President and uh, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, we're delighted to be joined over the telephone by His Excellency, Ambassador Gamel Bayoumi, the former Assistant Foreign Minister. It's a very good evening to you, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. Ambassador, can you hear us, sir? Yes, I hear you barely. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> it's a very good evening to you, Mr. Ambassador, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure. Right. Mr. Ambassador, today President Abdel Fattah Sisi held discussions with the Prime Minister uh, of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and they focused on affirming the commitment of the two countries to exploring ways to strengthen bilateral ties. Could you tell me, Your Excellency, how do you view the significance of this meeting as well as the timing of the visit? Very important and as you will know that the Netherlands is one of the countries established the European uh, common market in the uh, 50s after the Second World War. They were six, now they are 27. And we have a uh, compilation of relations. We have uh, bilateral relation with uh, Netherlands itself. We have a common uh, relations with a group of the 27. And of course, uh, uh, Netherlands is very active partner there. And we are cooperating in many fields, in the security and uh, politics, in the field of economics and trade, in the field of uh, social affairs and culture. Mm -hmm. And we have, as you will know, uh, a very wide agreement, the association agreement, mm 
yeah. which we signed in 2001. And according to this agreement, our trade to Europe uh, increased by four times. Mm -hmm. And Europe now is our main trade partner and the, the, the uh, largest uh, economic uh, 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 supply to Egypt, uh, especially in the field of uh, industry, in the field of agriculture. They are our main uh, market for our potatoes. The good news is that this year we have exported one million mm. tons of uh, potatoes. Take care that every ton of potatoes, it creates four shops. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a, a wide relation, and I am so happy seeing our president, God help him, every day he is receiving a visit or calling uh, his counterparts all over the world. And Europe is in the core of the, uh, our interest, because they can, of course, mm. they have their uh, influence in the international field, in the United Nations, and on our neighbor, Israel, because they support Israel from the beginning, of course. Mm. And I hope that they can convince uh, Israel to stop this silly war. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, Netherlands is hosting the International Court of justice, and we 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 uh, were looking to what was going on in the International Court of Justice. This is very important, and so I believe that the Prime Minister of uh, Netherlands is aware of what is going on. So this is a, a good effort from Egypt that will will gain day after day more support to the Palestinian and the the Gaza people who are suffering really from this silly war. Absolutely, Mr. Ambassador. Also, uh, in the joint press conference that was held between President Assisi and the Prime Minister, uh, the issue of illegal immigration and refugees was also addressed. Uh, President Assisi explained to the Prime Minister that uh, the efforts Egypt made in this regard, and Egypt is currently hosting over 9 million guests in Egypt, uh, who, of course, enjoy all the public services and just like Egyptian citizens. How do you see, you know, Egypt's efforts in this uh, file? I have a serious concern for this file mm. because, uh, as you rightly said, Egypt is hosting 9 million yes. inhabitants as guests, and we never consider them illegal migration. And we were, we were never uh, a sort of a threat to Europe with those who want to go uh, to Europe. We, 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 Europe always is appreciating the Egyptian effort that Egypt is not being used as a bridge for illegal migration. Mm -hmm. This is one side. On the other side, I, I am on the point to write an article to our newspapers because I, I was in the middle of these negotiations, of course, as you will know. Yes. Illegal migration, it is the Israelis who are coming and, and the Jews who is coming from Germany or Russia or United States to come to occupy mm -hmm. uh, the Palestinian territory. This is the, the real illegal migration because they have no relations historically or by uh, any means in, in the Palestinian land. So I will raise this question and I will encourage our colleagues in the foreign ministry to talk about it. Because if we, if we, uh, we, we have this agreement and we agree to fight all the uh, organized crime, which are four crimes, the terrorism, illegal migration, drug trafficking, and, and, and money laundering. Mm -hmm. So if we succeed to uh, make Europe satisfied of our behavior, we have to ask Europe to stop the migration from Europe to Israel because this is, this is a legal migration. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Your Excellency. On that note, I'd like to thank you very, very much. Your Excellency, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former assistant to the Foreign Minister, thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your time and your insight and for joining us on tonight's edition uh, of the Daily Debate. Now, uh, before we delve into tonight's topic on the Daily Debate, let's take a look at this report that sheds light on Egypt's success to become a reliable destination for foreign direct investments and how the country's sustainable development efforts are garnering international recognition. Let's take a look. 
meeting on Wednesday, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli praised the positive outcomes resulting from the recent economic measures implemented by the state. Prime Minister Madbouli announced that remittances from Egyptian expatriates are gradually returning to their usual levels, particularly due to the narrowing gap between the official exchange rate and the black market rate. During the cabinet meeting, Madbouli attributed the decline in the black market to the shrinking gap between the official parallel market exchange rates as well as recent crackdowns by the Ministry of Interior on currency traders. The Prime Minister shared that CBE Governor informed him that banks and exchange offices had witnessed an increase in citizens exchanging dollars for the Egyptian pound in recent times. Additionally, Minister of Tourism and Antiquities reported an increase in tourism companies exchanging dollars for the Egyptian pound through the banking system in recent days. Madbouli highlighted that the state successfully released stranded goods worth around $3 billion at ports in the past few days and emphasized plans to settle payments owed to foreign partners.